how to charge an electric bike directly from solar you need one of these boxes find them on ebay or amazon it's an mppt boost solar charge controller how does it work you have a connection that goes to your battery it has a fuse in it then you have a connection where it goes directly to your solar panels which in my case are like right there you see them so i have about 130 watts over there which is basically about 100 watts nominal power those are 12 volt panels that are going uh, through this cable into the mppt controller and uh, this one is you could set it up to whatever voltage you want so here's how it works it has a set button over there has a battery and a solar when solar and battery are on green means good solar means that there's solar power in it this particular one is compatible with 24 36 48 60 72 volt or self-setting these are the original chargers for the bicycle so these are rated for 54.6 volts at 3 amps so what do you do with this one you press and hold the set button five seconds one two three four five so right now it's in 24 mode 36 mode 48 mode 60 mode 72 mode or self mode so right now i'm going to press and hold for another five seconds and I'm gonna set the voltage manually. And there you go. So right now it's 54.8, I want 54.6. 51, 54.56. You let it sit over there, four lines on the dash, means that it's set for that. There you go. So it just set itself to 54.6, so it will stop automatically. Once you plug it in, you gotta watch the screen. So what the screen means, this is the voltage of the battery right now, 53.9. This is how much the solar panels are putting out, 19.1. This is the current going through. So it takes a couple of seconds to catch up with it. And then you see the voltage and the panels are dropping. The current is going up and then the voltage on the battery is going up. So usually the panel still is around 15, 15.4. These are 12 volt panels. It's doing 8.4. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it's not amps. And this is 53.9 on the battery right now. It's gonna go until it's gonna reach 54.6 and then it's gonna stop. Very simple. If you put 200 watts worth of panels, we'll charge it at 200 watts. This original controller on the bike charges between 120 to 170. So the battery can take 200 watts. If you wanna charge it faster, there are faster charger out there, but it can reduce the life of the battery. So I would recommend not to overdo it. 200 watt solar panels will be more than enough. But yes, you could rush it if you're like in the middle of nowhere, and you need to charge your battery, you go riding, you could rush it one or twice, it won't break the battery. This unit will stop automatically when it reaches 54.6. That's why we set it on self. And that's it. Very, very simple setup.